inside an apartment in Kenya's capital Nairobi, we watch as Michael Muthiga aligns his sketches and within no time breeds life into them. At another corner of the city, another young animator is doing an almost similar thing and just like that Kenya we have a public service announcement urging patriotism, imploring Kenyans to shun tribalism. Welcome to Kenya's little known and yet exciting animation world. There are some things you can achieve in animation that you can achieve in live action. You'll grab the attention of the audience better with the animation. It started when Mudiga created Fiber, a popular animation advertisement. Within the first week, it had millions of hits on YouTube. It went viral and Mudiga ended up doing a three-part series. Honey, uh, do, do you see me? Oh, yes. That also marked his breakthrough. Before Fiber, I had to struggle, uh, try and get contracts here and there. But uh, once I did Fiber, I haven't even gotten time to approach any other client. The calls keep coming in, the emails. Uh, we've had to turn down a few, some because of uh, conflict of interest, some because of uh, the, the magnitude. The self-taught animator studied civil engineering at the university. He has, however, managed to turn his hobby into a commercial venture, earning millions of shillings and fame. I found myself uh, going, uh, practicing and trying to get uh, myself uh, knowledgeable in the animation field, technical and the theoretical part of it. Uh, I, I, I'd get a, a lot of books. I'd buy a lot of books and do a lot of research on that, a lot of online uh, research as well. Kelvin too is self-taught. Kenya has no animation schools. One would have to go abroad to study. The demand for their work is high. Their expertise is still low. And Kenyans like very, if there's something new, they just go for it. Like for example, the fiber thing. So it's, it, it's sellable right now. It takes about a month and about five people to have an animated commercial on air. But the cost of production are prohibitive. The animation, it's a bit more expensive than live. The two men are looking beyond advertisements. They hope to start producing animated films and children's series. They say the only way is up. Sarah Kimani, SABC Weekend Live, Kenya.